says, I would like to know about knurling piston skirts. And he's, <laughs> why, why don't you tell us what that means and what, why you would do it or not do that? Because the, the piston's too loose in the, in the bore. Okay. Some are, it's too loose. So they have a machine that just clamps it. It's got two rollers, two small rollers that's got teeth on them. Uh -huh. Little marks. They're usually about a half, quarter inch wide. And when I put a piece of aluminum in it and you crank it like a old ringer or something with a handle crank, uh -huh. you crank this piston back and forth in it. Okay. And it runs it and scores the piston and actually breaks the piston. Breaks the surface of the piston. Okay. So once it smashes it and puts these threads in it. Okay. Then it raises the piston. So it's bigger than that. So it kind of expands the effectiveness expands the of effect it. Expands the effectiveness of the piston. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why we don't agree with that. Then you have to sand it sometimes or file it to get that edges off there so it does fit what you want. I see. Because usually if we want a 3,000, it ain't nothing to knurl a piston and gain five. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty brutal. And it, has oil. it holds oil, but it's not supposed to touch anyways. Piston skirt, don't touch the, don't touch the piston okay. or don't touch this block. Yeah, right. So we okay. used to neural valve guides all the time, too. Right. Some people do. Yeah. And just breaks the surface and makes them bigger. Okay. But soon wears out fast because it's all broken. Yeah, it's broken and you have less surface area. Yeah, yes, less surface area. 